at what point are we making music that's going to be what the kids are sampling? Twenty years from now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask me how bad do I want it? Bet I want it better than any of y'all motherfuckers trying to climb the ladder. So much envy on the beat, make me feel like I'm a demon. One of the seven sins. I don't need no pyramids to make me feel like I want. On my mind, yes. which is the one with Pharrell and the Yeezus. Yes, yes. yes. love that and shit like that. I dig that. Yeah. Clips. Clips. Before Pusha T was Pusha T. <laughs> Malice clips. It was clips. I gotta forget clips. <laughs> Then there was the shit with yeah, it was Clips, Pusha T, Mac, Mr. Cow. There was so many others. Did, like yeah. that's the thing they about did, Neptunes. Didn't they do Gwen Stefani for a bit? Kelis, Kelis. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that sound yeah. period, like just blurred the lines for so many things, like R and B and hip hop and, and skate style. Yeah. That was the Neptunes. It was that's that's what I love about Pharrell. But then there's but I find and that someone was talking about like least Kanye thinks. Yeah, Pharrell is what Kanye thinks he is. Producer wise. <laughs> someone said that. I can't remember who. It was on my timeline and I was like, wait. Wait, hey, stop at five. Stop at five. <laughs> stop at five, exactly. And I was like, wait, here's the thing Let's about talk Kanye. About Kanye, this. prodigy you have no ID. And like you gotta tell me what you think of this. In terms of no, no ID and the songs that he made and the artists that he brought at the time. What Kanye has done since the college dropout days, since the late registration days, because I think that song was sort of repetitive on those two albums, and then from yeah. graduation it started getting it started to something to get a bit different. Eight away some heartbreaks. Yeah. Can't forget about that album. Definitely. But that's running the mill conversation. Here's what I want to talk about. And like for real, I need you to be honest with me. The show is who would you say is a memorable local rapper? Mainstream or underground? In SA. What, what, what am I looking at here? What are my criteria? Am I, am, I, am I talking about what's, what he has on circulation? Um, what what Tabiso's done with the Cash Time people has been a little, for me, a micro experiment in terms of how to build a hip hop brand in South Africa and get guys serious about their business, yeah. get guys serious about their brands. Apart from Casper, AK, whoever, but just looking at Cash Time yeah. and looking at Mugs, looking at KO, uh, who's that kid? Kid X. Yes. Uh, who else am I missing? My E. But from that collective, whom I really, really feeling, I have to go with KO, kid. Oh, yeah, Mr. Cash Time himself. Mr. Cash Time. Mr. Himself. Cash Time himself. The clip is definitely proof himself. I, I think I think he has even even from from the time of tear gas in terms of consistency of flow, the writing, the delivery, even the wordplay. I, for me, I thought that was that was really really dope. And 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 the Vinek English thing is not new, but I thought I thought he, I thought he brought a bit of freshness to him. 